Hello, this is the Bus Productions and today I am going to show you how to create a digital reveal. This is a very simple tutorial and requires you to have crap code form. K please keep in mind that I am a Pakistani hence my English is not very fluent. Let's get started. First we create a new composition. I'll t uh, type the name main, make it 1920 by 1080 and make the duration to 20 seconds which is more than enough than what we need now we'll create a new composition name it text and in this composition type the text we want to animate bring it to the middle okay now that's done we're going to create a new composition and call this composition turbulent now in this composition we're going to create a new solid and call it turbulent now on this uh, solid we're going to add an effect called turbulent turbulent noise something like that yeah now once this effect is added to the solid the solid should look something like this so I'm going to increase the contrast to around 350 and the brightness to 66 now what, I'll, what I'm going to do is animate the brightness from 66 to the 12th second and make it minus 185 now that it, it's minus 185 you would see nothing but bla a black solid now I'm going to make it uh, make the composition around 13 seconds now that's done I'm going to create a new composition called characters I'm going to make the width 120 the height 120 and the duration 2 seconds in this composition I'll type in the number 0 increase its size like so like so now what I'm going to do is animate this number 0 from the text properties I'll go into animate and character offset over here I'm going to change the character range to full unicode now I'm going to uh, start animating the character offset I hope you know the basics of After Effects because I'm not going through them right now. Okay, up till here. Now I think two seconds is a little long, so I'll just trim the comp to around one one second, one point three seconds, and trim comp to work area. Where is it? Now you can see our zero is letter zero changes throughout the alphabets and the numbers. Now what we are going to do is go in the main comp, bring all the comps we just created, and turn them off. Turn them off. Now we're going to create a new solid, call it formation. Now you need to add the trap code form effect on the formation. Now once you've added that you just need to copy the attributes I fill in. In the Z in Z, size X and size Y enter the composition resolution. Now size Z should be one. Particles of size X should be two fifty. Sorry two fifty. Particles in Y should be around one forty particles in Z should be 1 and the rest should remain the same in particle we need to change the particle type to custom colorize in custom we're going to change the layer to f uh, characters and time sampling to random loop in the size we're going to change it to 6 and change the color to green as we're going to uh, go going for a matrix type effect now the <coughs> now leave the rest as it is. 
now we're going to go into layer maps here we need to change the color alpha layer to text functionality A to A map over XY now you can s this should basically appear your text uh, with the f uh, numbers now what you need to do is going to fractal strength and change the layer to turbulent and map over XY now disperse layer into turbulent map over XY now go into disperse and twist and make the disperse 22 now what you need to do is go into fractal field and actual s make the actual size 2 change the displacement mode to XYZ individual and change the Y displacement to minus 100 and Z displacement to 400 now go to add slash subtract and make it minus 3 minus 2 make minimum minus 3 make maximum 0 F scale 0 complexity 1 now you should get something like this now and this effect can be used to create some very good shit not shit very good intros for example and as you could see this intro which I just made uh, consisted of this effect now you may be wondered how I got the numbers for popping out from front so what I did was just create a new camera first I'm going to create a new null object now I'm going to create a new camera I'm going to parent the camera to the null object sorry I'm going to parent the n camera to the null object and then animate the camera's position. I'll make the first two of the camera's position 50 and 50 and copy its third setting. Once copied, I'll make the third setting of the camera, which is the z axis of its position, to minus 1. Now, since I want my text to be on the screen at around 6 the fifth second I'll change the minus one into the setting into the numbers uh, into the attribute I just copied maybe I want it a little bigger oh, oh that's perfect uh, a bit smaller yeah this is perfect now as you can see it comes out from the front just to give it a little more effect I'll change the uh, rotation uh, I'll make all the th layers 3d first <laughs> then change the X rotation of the null object first I'll make it 45 and then later when the text appears I won't want it back at 0 so as you can see the numbers come out from the front this looks pretty damn cool now in the video I just showed to you I didn't use any bigger effects than this this was the main thing the other things I used were uh, optical flares uh, a ramp effect and opacity fade in effect with the lower subtitles and uh, linear wipe and a CC radial fast blur and that's it for this tutorial I hope you liked it and if you did please subscribe and like it as it helps me a lot.